Hello everyone, this is Akata Vesda. Thank you for joining me. I am your certified galactic astrologer, holistic healer, and channeler. Today we are going to talk about Pluto ingress into Aquarius at zero degree with the Sun on the 20th of January. But we also should look at at the end of 2023 we have one last full moon, Cancer, that opening our heart chakra. And with Jupiter and the next day Mercury going direct at the beginning of year 2024. And um, in this podcast, I would like to also give you the extra energy with the Chinese New Year. This year, we are going to have the Yang wood dragon and this gives us an extra boost of energy the earth connecting with the earth the grounding and bringing our manifestation into our today world with pluto we are setting up this new paradigm for us to move forward in the next 20 years and to end i would like also to show you the Sabian symbol of one degree of Aquarius. This gives us a picture of what we can work toward in the next 20 years, of how each of us can participate and making, manifesting the new earth here and now. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So before we begin to look at this Pluto Kazemi in Aquarius, we should briefly going back to see how the planetary alignment are preparing us to this significant moment. We start off in year 2024 with Mercury going direct, usuring in hopeful, positive, future-oriented energy. Anything is possible. It symbolizes a shift toward more helpful, forward-thinking, and optimistic energies. This alignment can inspire people to embrace new possibilities, broaden the horizons, and approach challenge with more optimistic and open mind attitude. It is a time when communication flows more smoothly and there is greater sense of enthusiasm, embracing new opportunities. On the 11th of January, we have the new moon in Capricorn, squaring the North Node in Aries, brought to us a period of potent celestial energies with potential implications for personal growth and direction. This square aspect between the new moon in Capricorn and the north node in Aries can indicate tension or challenges between Capricorn's desire for structure, tradition, and particularity, and Aries' call for independence, assertiveness, and taking risk. While Capricorn encourages us to adhere to conventional method and long-term planning. The North Node in Aries urges us to embrace more assertive and individualistic approaches, encouraging us to step out of our comfort zone to pursue personal growth and authenticity. It is essential to use this time to reflect on personal aspirations, ambitions, and the ways to integrate these energies effectively to move forward in alignment with our true desires and the greater path of personal evolution represented by North Node in Aries. We are only a few days away from the 20th of January 2024 with the biggest planetary transit of Sun conjunct Pluto at zero degrees in Aquarius, which will influence us for the next 20 years. 
On the same day, Mercury will come out of its shadows period, conjuncting Mars in Capricorn, sextiling Jupiter in Taurus, providing opportunities to move forward with foreign connections, law, publishing, higher education. Also, we also have Venus in Sagittarius, wily squares Neptune in Pisces. Bringing maybe illusions in love. Now let us break down one by one. With Mercury out of its shadow at a degree in Capricorn, signifies clarity and forward momentum in communication, travel, and decision making related to Capricorn themes such as ambition, structure, responsibility. At the same time, Mercury conjunct Mars in Capricorn. This alignment can bring assertiveness and decisiveness in communication and intellectual pursuits. It may indicate a time of intense mental focus, drive, and determination to achieve goals, especially in career or practical matters. With Jupiter sextile Mars, these aspects suggest opportunities for taking action, practically in areas related to foreign connection, legal matters, publishing, and higher education. It can signify a favorable time for expansion and growth in these areas, perhaps through assertives. And strategic actions. As Venus in Sagittarius squaring Neptune in Pisces, this aspect may bring tension or challenges between Venusian themes such as love, relationships, and values, and Neptune's influence of illusion, spirituality, confusion. It could indicate. A struggle between idealistic or dreamy notions of love and the practical reality of relationships. Cautions is advised in romantic matters to avoid falling into unrealistic or deceptive situations. Now let's bring our focus on the Sun conjunct Pluto at zero degree in Aquarius. Zero degrees is a critical degree, and it is the beginning. Pluto has been in Capricorn for fifteen years, influencing themes of power, authority, and deep societal changes. As Pluto moves into Aquarius, it heralds a shift in collective energies. This transit bring forth themes of innovation, revolution, and transformation within society. Aquarius is an air sign; it is associated with progress, humanitarianism, and unconventional thinking. With Pluto's influence, there may be a focus on social reforms. Technological advancements and changes in group dynamics. When the sun, which represents one's core identity and vitality, aligns with Pluto, the planet associated with transformation, power, and regeneration, it tends to intensify the energies and themes. Related to that specific sign, the conjunction of the Sun and Pluto suggests a time of deep personal transformation. It may prompt us to reassess our sense of identity, values, and personal power, especially in the context of Aquarian themes, such as. Innovation, individuality, and 
progressive ideas. This alignment can bring intense energy and a heightened focus on asserting individuality, breaking free from limitations, or advocating. For change in collectives or humanitarian causes, being at a critical degree of Aquarius, this conjunction may symbolize the initiations of innovative projects, the start of unconventional endeavors, or the emergency of new ideas that have the potential to reshape one life. Or the world around them. What are the key words in Aquarius? It is about idealization, faith, envisioning, assurance, knowledge, and originality. Together with Pluto's influence, it can bring. Underlying power dynamics to the forefront, issues related to control, authority, and personal empowerment may surface during this period, encouraging us to confront and transform deep-seated patterns. It suggests a powerful merging of energy between the ego, the sun, and Transformation, Pluto. It indicates a time of intense focus, potential for personal growth, and a desire for change of transformation in one's life. We are looking at the collective evolution. Pluto's move into Aquarius may spark changes in how we approach technology. Community, and our role in society, it could bring about profound shifts in group consciousness, emphasizing the importance of collaboration, equality, and progress for humanity. These transformational potentials, Pluto's influence in Aquarius, might. Prompt us to examine existing structures, challenge norms, and seek innovative solutions to global issues, fostering a drive for transformation and social evolution. As a Chinese myself, I would like to mention in 2024, it is the year of Wood Dragon. Which I believe to have significant influence on this Pluto energy, as Pluto transiting out from structural Capricorn to innovative Aquarius. In the Chinese calendar, it is moving from the year of the rabbit, signed being out and about in the world, to the year of dragon. The mystical dragon races and recharge our tea. The year of wood dragon begins on February the tenth. It is believed to be able to foster growth, progress, and abundance. The dragon represents rising the yang qi, the masculine energy. And fast-growing life energy. This expanding chi fuels a fresh life cycle, and signals a time for us to broaden our horizon. The dragon is related to success, intelligence, and honor in Chinese culture. While wood dragons are full of Energy and dream of changing the world. Dragon is powerful, endlessly energetic, and full of vitality. Goal-oriented yet idealistic and romantic, and a visionary leader. They know exactly who they are and.
possesses the keenest sense of self among the twelve zodiac of Chinese astrology. Dragons present themselves as magnificent yet benevolent rulers who are confident, generous, idealistic, and ambitious. In Chinese culture, these mystical creatures are in a class of their own, regarded as the givers of abundance and longevity. Dragon's confidence is neither false nor empty, as they hold lofty ideas they are striving towards, usually for the benefit of their community instead of themselves. They are independent thinkers who will never yield their highest conviction. Wood represents vitality and creativity, while the dragon is related to success, intelligence, and honor in Chinese culture. In Chinese tradition, the element of wood is known to be the element of growth, success, and initial years of development. Wood is associated with the direction east, seasons of springs, and planet Jupiter. The energy of the wood dragon represents color green, wealth, with high winds, and the mystical azure dragon Qing Long in the fourth symbols. Wood dragon natives need nourishment, care, and attention to grow into an exceptional human. In 2024, dragon will be associated with the element of wood. It indicates a time for new start great beginning, hard work, and power to growth and prosperity. The wood element is also known to be the mother of fire element, so it has the ability to create passion, creativity, invention, and introduce new things. This powerful relationship between wood and fire can be compared to spark and flame. This is a small event, but it has the power to transform into an important event. The color green connect with the wood element act as an emblem to life and vitality. The plants and trees require water, sunlight, and nourishment to flourish. In the same way, we need to nourish our bodies, mind, and souls to utilize our full power and achieve prosperity and wisdom. This year of the wood dragon is bringing high energy, new zeal, passion, and nourishment to fuel our personal, professional, and spiritual growth. These combinations makes the year of the wood dragon full of energy and drive, the dream of changing the world, and are good at coming up with innovative ideas and implement them. Don't you find it combined so well with Pluto energy in Aquarius. This is a year it will be good to build a solid foundation for something new with long-term potential. And to end this podcast, I would like to show you the image of Sabian symbol of Aquarius 1 degree standing up for our lifestyle deepens our character and inspire in us a faith that we belong the keynote for this image is the power inherent in all great human works to endure far beyond the workers 
lifespans. To make things and situations ideal, we have first to examine what has happened before and compare this to what could happen, and also to our idealizations of excellence. This is a power of integrity written in things that were once new many years ago and have survived and evolved to a place whereby they give testimony to their enduring worth. Age has improved them in ways that only aging can by adding depths of character and proving their strength against the eroding forces of tide and time. It is not for us to throw out the old just because it is not modern. Yet it is for us to throw out whatever cannot find a place of relevance within the current situations since our loyalties are not best given to our our worth causes people always just for the sentimental reasons it is for us to hear the roar of thunder as a presage of change to feel its capacity to transform and to be ready to move things to the next level energized by our best ideas about what may be possible aquarius begins with a symbol present a more spiritualized and idealistic or creative picture of the social force at work moreover it stresses the enduring character of human achievement and soldered by the great vision. At least within the flame of reference of our Western civilization, the symbol speaks of the projection of a noble idea into concrete forms of beauty and significance, thus of the radiation of a civilizing power in an institutional offering to primitive man the opportunity to reach a higher more organized and productive level of activity did speak to us of the concretization of an ideal it imply immortalization of an individual within a great collectives and cultural enterprise. One thing we need to be careful of is that such a complete observance of all ways can easily lead to a total lack of ambition and also a blind adherence to superficialities that has been crystallized into community values. This can be avoided if we are always aware of who we are, what we are doing, and why. An aware person is tested to remember their own true spiritual state at all times. It is necessary for both an overall orientation and an underlying stability in all personal existence. In a world of deceived and illusion, where nothing is ever completely fixed in time, this presents a prodigious challenge. The future is not inevitable. All perceptions of history and current affairs are subject to modification personally and communally and are creative causes. Some find this idea scary and others will enjoy the implied freedom. 
humanity would be better off holding the belief that we are creating our own future by our current ideas. We may then understand that the responsible things to do is to care for our neighbors on this planet and the planet itself. With these Sabian symbols, its image, it is for us to ponder a point, the kind of new earth that we are going to build for the next 20 years, especially for the new generations to come. This combination of Pluto in Aquarius, together with the wood dragon and the Sabian symbol, bringing a fresh air full of energy and drives. The dream of changing the world is now even more possible with each of us as active participants in the new earth. It is a year to build a solid foundation for something new with long-term potential. Thank you for listening. Just a reminder, I am going to do a new video regarding the Chinese Dragon Year. And I hope you stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are resonate with the information that I'm sharing here with you, if you want to understand more of your natal chart or galactic astrology chart, please don't hesitate to contact me in becomingLotus.org. It is always a pleasure to be of service. Thank you. See you next time.